Hold so, on, are you doing a tip top lie? I am, yeah. I knew it was coming, he elbowed me back. Hello? Oh, how you doing, mate? You all right? You good? Let's go again, baby. Let's see what's around today. Filming for the YouTube today as well. How much is that one? How much? 250. 250. Has he got the bit for it in the middle? Is that it? Aye. Has he got the bit in the middle? Is that it? We stick a pound for it as it is. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, yeah. cheers, mate. I think yeah, it's. I didn't. Uh, yeah, that was it. Oh, no, the controller's a bit. Uh, I'll, I'll leave. No worries. Thank oh, you. Okay. I didn't realise the controller's broke. Is it? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Morning chat. All right, let's have a little browse, see if we can't find some stuff. Heavy on the garms today, I think. These lot have normally got some nice vintage tees. Yes. Let's have a look at the men's Jacket. stuff. I don't know if I ever need a suit at the minute. No, I haven't got caught coming up. I'm all right for a suit. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're going to try and find something today that's worth a million pounds is what we're going to try and do. Fit check today. We're rocking the burbs Hello, with the checks. Hello, mate. You are right? YouTube things lately. I'm, 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 I'm garage. active, ain't I, today? A active recently, I mean. Yeah, yeah, you're doing alright. Holiday mode, though, yeah. That's always short, short weather every day, my man. Every day it's short weather. I'm not, I'm not the postman. I'll see you when you sit up. Can't get past the first purchase. I don't understand. Lads, ladies, can't get past it. Can't get past the first hurdle. Just gotta buy that one thing and then you're in. That's it, the ball starts fucking rolling. Look at that teddy bear. Yeah. Does she smell? I should have bought a coat. Should have bought a coat. Open shirt and a t-shirt and shorts. He was right. Ain't the one. De -de 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 -de. Ain't the one, mate. I'm just gonna get some active now. I'm gonna force the first purchase. I was going to try and sell all the tools together. That's what I wanted to do. Job lost. Five year old. Five year old. I was up and grabbed it. Oh, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, good, you right? Yeah. Right, we're going to make the break the first purchase today. How much are the mats? Uh, 50 each. So there's four there, yeah? Yep. I'll take them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But I've got to make a purchase today, you see. Oh, what? Okay. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. We've got a purchase. We've done it. We've broke the ice. <laughs> Bye. Oh, it's fucking game on now, son. It's weird. That is literally all it takes sometimes is is um one purchase and then they all come flying. And they all come flying. In. I just sent someone an invite, but I didn't mean to. So if you join, I have to get rid of you. Soz pal. Soz pal. Yeah, RG21, I think, or RG20, or... This is Redden, it's Prospect Park. Prospecto Parco. There we go, let's get in there. Whoa, whoa. Step on the bag. No, no, no. We got the Von Dutch. How are you, mate? Good, how's life? How long have you been? Uh, how much is that one? Two pound. I've uh, been here about six hours, mate, so there's nothing left for you, bro. Two pounds for an area. Come on. Stay not like us, stay not like us. That one as well. Have that as well. Yeah, I'll take these two, thank you. Just take the hangers off. Do you want the hangers back over there? No, I'll take them. Right, we're three quarters of the way there. <laughs> nope. Oh, almost. Honestly, rubbish. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank I appreciate you. it. Ariat and a shot for two quid each. Come on. What about the scarves and stuff? I think I'm about to go broke. Three people that were. Okay, I you another pound. Oh mate, how you doing? Thank you, lovely. I appreciate Thank you. it. Right. Where's Big Pat? I'm uh, looking around. We're set up there. Yeah, she's set up this time already. Yeah. Well, tent things. Oh up. yeah. Oh, look at you with the 
left my phone down there. What a dickhead. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Look at you with the gazebo. Oh, I've got to stay here. Right? There's some good cheap stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you. Almost left the phone there, people. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? So I've got Ariat shot and three people for a five. That was a big one. I bought that for myself. So this boot sale is actually free to enter. Nice lipsy one there, but i bothered with it. So there's some nice little names on there. It's nice little labels if they're like people's sizes. Oh, there's another lady. <laughs> Sorry, my dear, I didn't, I didn't see you there. Puffer when the winter comes in. So I'll add this one. Mackinac out, the keys. Springfield skateboards. That was a nice little ramp It took about 15. See, these actually sell quite well. How much are these ones? Have you got the plug for them? Is that it? No. Just a batch one? It never came with it, but it does, definitely does work with tile. No, how did you find using them oh. for shipping? Are they on point? Yeah. Obviously, vintage, where we sell on vintage, we don't obviously need No, don't need scales there, do you? Tell that later, I'll pick them up. So I've, got, I've already got a pair of scales. So I'll do what you do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen them on YouTube. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> What about the mugs? Yeah, they're like 50p. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about famous. <laughs> what are you doing? Have a look at clear out or something? Pretty much, yeah. What's it called? Winding it down? Do you want them? I don't want them. So look at them. I mean, they, I'm not giving you them. <laughs> uh, I think I might take some of these mugs. I'll take these three off you. Yeah? So, Hold on, are you doing a TikTok live? I am, yeah. I'll get you I think I might follow you. Maybe. You need some money off me. Three times fifty, yeah? Yeah, that's all right. Lovely I stuff. Him, I appreciate you. We've got some cool bits here, man. How much is Becky? Probably like a pound. I'll buy, I'll buy Becky. Oh dear. Yeah, a lot of this stuff will do all right on eBay, but like you say, it's, I'll, put, I'll, I'll put the work in on it. Yeah, I'll leave, that's a bargain. I'll leave them for now, because I've got scales just, just as a backup. But if they're there later, I'll just grab them. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. That rain and stimps. Oh, look at all them. 90s throwbacks. Jesus. I wish I was bigger, I'd have copped that. Come on, baby. Completely neglected the GoPro today. Just focused on holding this phone up. Hello? I'm Daz from Hawking Emporium. Oh, how you doing, mate? You all right? You, you good? I'm, yeah, I'm all right, mate. Yeah, good, I'm, man. I'm, I'm thing sure is, that makes sense, you know what I mean? Yeah, the day that you do have a, a day off, you feel like you're fucking slacking and doing nothing. I feel like I'm slacking anything. here. How much is that one? £4. Sweet, I love that. Get in there. I'll have some timber on as I get older and everything looks so small. Oh, nah, man, you're all right. You're squeezing, you're squeezing, squeezing in, boy. <laughs> I'll take this one, thank you. But it's nice sure, to good. meet you, man. Oh, you too, I'm mate. Sure, you, you're so one, it's... one of the real ones I watch, you know. I... Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Thanks, good you. on you, boy. I will find some fucking money in a minute. That's you you got any more men's dudes? Men's, men's dudes? Men's stuff coming out. Um, was that it? Yeah, but What about this one? Is that because it's kids as well? Kids, yeah. He, he, he wouldn't even appreciate a Fendi either. Oh. Yeah. Car boot on a Saturday, Lexi. Car boot on a Saturday, girl. Oh, he knew it was coming, he elbowed me back. Right. Yeah, how's life? Good man. I knew it was coming. I've not seen Lucy yet today. And we're back in the garage. We are home from the car boot sale, the Saturday car boot sale today. Unfortunately, I forgot to take my spare battery pack with me in my bum bag, fanny pack, whatever you want to call it. So my battery died on the field and I couldn't replace the battery. Shame but never mind. Haven't seen the footage yet. You would have, so I'm hoping there was something on there. I met Darren today from Hawkins Emporium. Big up Darren, lovely bloke. I was obviously on my mindset. I was obviously in there digging around and stuff, but I did manage to get into my head and pull some time back and give Darren a bit of time and say hello. So it's really nice to meet you, my friend. I asked him if he wanted a channel plug, but he said he doesn't really care about all that. But hey, here's Darren's Instagram. Big up my man. First of all, we'll go through what I class as the junk. Just impulse purchases, gut purchases and a way to bring the average spend of the day down. So for five pound, five quid, we picked up this Bluebird confectionery tin. 
with loads of different sewing bits inside. I will go through that to see if there's anything in there that's worth anything before. A lot of you old school people would know that I did very well off some uh, sewing stuff before. But for five pound, we've got this, a vintage Merit gyroscope. I think they go for about 12 quid. No idea on the price of the Bluebird just yet. Got some Crescent Medieval chess pieces. These sell for about 20 pound. Some sealed watercolour pencils, the Masters Collection by WH Smiths. Hopefully they're still going to be all right to use. This USA space rocket type thing, wind socks. I think you sort of put it on a pole and it you can see it there. It's sort of the wind opens it all up and it just sits on the pole doing that. And that all came in a nice Marlboro bag. I believe you would have got this from the duty free at an airport, but how cool is that? I literally filled the bag. I said, I want all this and the bag instead of fiver. Bargain, I think. Not too shabby with that at all. 50 pence, we've got a Powerball. These sell for about 18 quid, depending on the condition. I haven't looked into it yet, but you're guaranteed to get at least 12 back, but they can be as much as 18 quid. And an Amish Pyrex dish. Took me a long time to say that. Paid two pound for this one, because when I Googled it, in front of the chap, I was quite open. I saw that a set of these were going for 80 quid. So for two quid, hopefully there's 25, 30 pound on that. Really nice pattern, nice condition, apart from this little wear here, which is actually quite annoying. Never mind, it's okay condition. Then there was a lovely couple. They were clearing down some of their stock. They don't do eBay anymore. They said they think they know me from YouTube or Instagram. So big up you guys. I really appreciate the deal. These were 50 pence each. We've got a brand new, I think it's brand new. Either way, it's in the box. Uh, Simba mug by Paladone. Hulk fist smash <laughs> mug. Probably again by Paladone. Yep. And a Disney Pirates of the Caribbean mug i think i've sold this one before but when i sold it it had a crack on it i think i still got about eight or nine quid so hoping for 10 15 on that one the becky bottle opener you've all seen sexy steve well now here is the becky probably about eight quid if that someone just texted me i left my not notifications on again some accessories now we've got a vintage kango hat look at that i don't know what it's made what material it is it feels very soft whatever it is i don't know someone's pulled it out but it's a lady's hat very, feels very mohairy. That was part of a big deal. I spent £30 with one lady and chap for loads of clothing and stuff. But I got some really, really, really good bits. Oh, this is a tea towel that I got with that £5 Marlborough bundle. I saw it had a brand name on it, so I thought we will buy that and just find out later on down the line. Irish cabin linens. Who knows? Again, from the £30 deal is this L cap. Smart little piece. A lot of this will go on to Vinted, possibly or whatnot. We've got a pink Edwin Ed cap, and that's all the accessories. I'm going to show you these bits of clothing here first because they stink and they need a wash. So this is my needs a wash pole, but oh my king god! That was the chair, by the way. For two pounds, two whole pounds, guys and girls, two whole pounds. I have an Ariat jacket, big spell out down the side, nice little cropped size, just fantastic really really nice condition all the elastics are really nice stable ins jacket let's move that a bit there we go this is the stable ins jacket nice spell out down the arm really really nice two pound does need a bit of a wash though i'm hoping some good money on that from the same lady again needs a wash we have this shot jacket and again it was two pounds it almost has like a moisture wicking feel to it big spell out on the back even though it's black on black, which is really cool to be fair. I like that. Uh, size small, but it does look bigger. But yeah, it has that like um, almost scuba diving wetsuit jacket feel to it. Does that make sense to anyone? Yeah, condition's great. Bit of bobbling. You expect a bit of bobbling. Two pound. Two pound. Part of a five pound. Basically, no item of clothing owes me more than two pound as far as I'm aware. If I get to one and it is, I'll tell you. Boss t-shirt. I picked this up as a part of a bundle of three things for a fiver. Fred Perry t-shirt, I think that was part of the £30 deal. Needs a wash, these are all, these all need a wash, never mind, need a wash pile. Again, part of the £30 deal, vintage Ralph Lauren Polo. It's an XL, it is just, it feels greasy and it stinks. But there was obviously just clearing stuff out later, didn't care, so that's fine. And a Harlequins jersey. It's still wet for some reason, that one. I don't know the values on stuff. A free people scarf. Some of you will know who Free People are. They're a really good brand. It was 50 pence, 50 pence for the scarf from the lady that was selling things for £2. So that shot jacket and the Ariat also came from the same person where this came from. 
So that's pretty decent, isn't it? Calvin Klein jeans. These are the ones part of the free for a fiver. Again, most of this stuff will end up on whatnot, Vinted, or eBay. Big up to all the big boys out there now. We've got some 52 inch waist Levi's with the nice stretchy waist. They are a large pant. And I'm on my way to being that size, but us big boys need clothing as well. Size 52 Lees and some size 52 new with tags IZOD jeans. They're large, aren't they? They are rather large. But humans, we all come in all different shapes and sizes, and we all need to wear clothing, otherwise we get we get arrested, which is a bit shit, isn't it? Two pound, new with tags, Jordan Junior joggers, size 12 to 13. It's a two piece set and I was spending a lot of time looking for the second piece. When I asked her the price, she said, oh, well, they're brand new, two pound. My daughter bought the whole set, showing her one of the top. So I wasted so much time looking for a top that didn't even exist. Four pound, now we have this Adidas Originals Celebrate Original top. This is what I found when I was with Mr. Hawkins Emporium. Really nice, really, really nice top. Nice little embroidery there with a the tree fall, pinstripes going all the way through. Really, really nice, especially for four quid. Love a bit of that. Vivian Westwood Man top, part of the three for five pound. I think I've gone through all three items now. This is dope. D Dora, part of the 30 pound deal. <laughs> Look at that slammer. Yeah, really, really smart. And all of this stuff is in really good condition. None of it has like holes or tears or rips or snags. Done really well on things like that today. Authentic XL Wrestling Owens Fight t-shirt. Really, really nice, simple design. Nice big size. I think it's like 50p or a pound. This is an Orvis top. It's like a throw over almost. I can't quite work out. So it's got sleeves, but it's also got like a poncho kind of look to it. Azteki Designs, Geometric, Orvis. It does have a little hole just there where the stitching is, but that happens quite a lot with knitwear. Other than that, really smart part of the 30 pound deal haven't looked into this yet but i thought if you're willing to put this garment is copyright over a brand name there must be some kind of call for it but that's just my way of thinking it's by class crazy just a nice knitted top colorful bright vans denim -y workers type jacket chore jacket still has the tag on the inside of the pocket it has been it has been used size medium part of the 30 pound deal 30 pound deal imagine dragons 2013 night visions tour really nice really really nice if you like imagine dragons i don't care most of this now is all from the deal silver tag nike tea ladies nike cortez silver tag top Zip through, got a bit of a crop to that. I think it's Cortez. 6453, pretty sure that's the, hmm, not sure. Nice though, size medium polo top. Nice one that is, like that, very, very nice. Too small for me, and I wouldn't wear a polo anyway, I don't think. 95 Tasmania t-shirt, look at that. How smart is that? What does it say? Totally animal, right? Totally. What does that say? Totally animal. Weird. Uh, it's got a little date print running through the bottom there, the graphics. Yeah, nice one, that. These were two very cool pickups from someone else. These were, I think I paid two. Uh, the guy that I bought the Malibu stuff off, he had some clothing as well, so I had a little look through. Found some really nice vintage pieces. So made in USA, singular stitchula. So I'm going to say it's probably 70s, maybe early 80s with that sort of design and style. I have not tried to translate that yet. I haven't even given it a second thought. I'm just filming this for you guys now so I can get on and process it. Nice little one on the Fruit of the Loom tag now. Don't bother me, I am crabby, Baltimore. So I'm gonna look into it all, find out what's what, but that's a nice older one as well. G-Star Raw, this was from the guy with them 52 inch waist trousers. They were 50 pence each, by the way, them trousers. 50 pence each. Uh, G-Star Raw track jacket. I don't normally pick up things like that, but for 50p and with my plan to either vintage it or whatnot it, I don't mind picking stuff up like that. You know. Now this was really smart. There's a five pound tag on it, but I only paid a pound. It's the 1991 Cup Final Replicate. But can you see this? The Holston is clear. I have put it on Instagram. It must have like, if it was originally blue, then it's just like worn off. But there's no breaks. There's no damage. It's still plasticky. It's still 
there, there must have been a colour on the top that's come off. Do you know what I mean? I just can't quite work it out because there's no damage or anything. It is a uh, original replicate one from the era, so it's a good one. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That was originally a pound, but we started. Uh, this is the lady who asked. This is the lady in the chat that I started to build a big bundle with for thirty quid. But I don't know. That's the, um, that'll still sell. No trauma. No problem. That'll still sell. It's just annoying, isn't it? Just a quick little interjection jump cut. I've since been doing some research on that Tottenham top and I cannot find the same one anywhere else. I can't find anyone that is not on a score draw. I can't find any that is in the replicate tag. I just can't find any like it. None sold, no history. Spoke to a friend of mine who is an avid Tottenham fan and he seems to think that the shirt is going to do incredibly, incredibly well. So I'm hoping that there's going to be somebody out there that wants it for their collection and can look past the Holston damage floor worn off colour. So I think we're on to a really good winner there. In my head when I picked it up and I got back and I was showing you on the camera, I was thinking probably 50, 60, 70 quid. It still might even be there, but my friend is so convinced that it's going to be an absolute stormer. So we shall find out. Stay tuned for that one. And this, I actually bought the Pyrex and stuff from a guy, from that guy, the Pyrex and the Powerball. Walked off, came back. As I walked past, I saw that on the side. I thought, that's very Adidas blue, that is. Had a quick look, pulled it out. And it was. I think it's Eddie Mersix. I think that's how you say it, Eddie Mersix. But it's a... 70s eddie mersix on the vintage tag uh, i do believe it is 70s i have done some research into it it's a cycling top and it's in absolutely minty fresh condition minty condition so so good pound one whole pound it's got to be 60 quid back on that surely oh i've got these as well i think this was in the bottom of the marlboro bag i don't know if it's silver or not but it's an old, I think it's a sixpence. Yeah, an old sixpence. Pence. I uh, picked up these. Beer mats. Halls. Older Jack Daniels one. Newer Jack Daniels one. And a Heineken. 50 pence each. And that's what I picked up today. I thought I'd better show you, otherwise I'm never going to get this stuff listed and sorted out. I need to wash it. And if I wash it, it's just going to be blah, blah, blah. I'm never going to get the video out to you and you're never going to see it. So hopefully there was some good footage from the car boot sale on the GoPro. If not, my sincere apologies. I'll try better next time. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what your favourite thing was down below. And I am going to pick the winner to one of those bundles in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. Take care. Love you all. Bye.